Hello everyone, it's Bennett, and we're back for part two in the series on using U substitution for integrating. So we're going to go ahead and get started with problem number one. And we're going to be looking at the integral of x cubed times the square root of x to the fourth plus 1 dx. Now this integral represents a very important idea that we see in the general method of u substitution. And that is that there will oftentimes be one expression that when you take the derivative you get another expression. And it's okay to be off by a small amount because oftentimes it will simplify regardless. So as we saw in the last video, we're going to use the inner function as our u. So what we want to do is say u equal to x to the fourth plus 1. And now our du is equal to 4x cubed dx. Rearranging for dx, we have du over 4x cubed. So let's go back to our original problem. We have x cubed square root of u and we now have du over 4x cubed. And this is where that thinking comes in of having one expression that is the derivative of another one because now our x cubes cancel leaving us simply with the integral of 1 fourth times the square root of u du. And we're able to bring that 1 fourth out because it's a constant. Now the square root of u is really u to the power 1 half. And more generally you can write that the square root of let's say a of x to the b is really equal to x to the b over a or rather x to the power over root. So we're going to rewrite our integral as 1 fourth u to the 1 half du and using the reverse product rule we are going to add 1 to the exponent and then divide so 1 half plus 1 is simply equal to 1 half plus 2 over 2 which is equal to 3 halves so we have, at, sorry, we have u to the 3 halves, and then we're going to divide 1 by 3 halves, which if you can't do that mentally, you can write it out, but you're basically just flipping the fraction. So we get 2 thirds, and we can't forget our 1 fourth out front. Now this is an indefinite integral, so there's some ambiguity on where it lies exactly on the graph. So we need to add our plus c. Now we want to finish in terms of x, so let's go back and remember that u is really x to the fourth plus one and then finally simplifying we have a two cancel and we're left with a two so we have x to the fourth plus one to the three halves all over six plus c. And we can move on to a slightly more difficult problem, but nothing too crazy.
and clear this section out. Exit this. All right. Now, problem number two. We want to look at the integral of dx over x ln squared of x. Now, this is a slightly more difficult looking integral, but if we take the idea of looking for an expression and that expression's derivative, then we can break this up. This is really two parts. We have a one over x times one over the natural log of x squared. And if you remember, one, let's see, the natural log of x derivative is equal to one over x. So the first thing we want to do is we'll try the u substitution. u is equal to natural log of x. Now we need the relationship that du is now 1 over x dx. In rearranging for dx, we see that dx is equal to x du. So back to our original integral. We now have du times x divided by x times u squared. And here it is again. The x's cancel nicely. So we're left with the integral of 1 over u squared du. Using the reverse product rule, we can easily show that when we add 1 to the exponent, we get negative 1. And then dividing in the front, so dividing 1 by negative 1, we simply have negative. And then plus c. Now, going back to our equation for u, we want to rewrite this as minus the natural log of x, and we're raised to the minus 1 power, plus c. And that's all. Thank you.